Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft mod installation um, video. I haven't done one of these in quite a long time, but I decided that uh, with the new version of Minecraft out, the 1.0.0, not so much that it's new, but it hasn't been updated in quite a while, so I think it's fairly safe to say that you can carry on modding your game and not worry too much. So what I want to do, I want to walk you guys through the steps of modding Minecraft and what I believe are the essential mods, the mods that you must have. And um, yeah, to me, the mods you must have basically are the MC Patcher, which patches your game so you can customize your texture packs, use newer texture packs, etc. The Mod Loader, the GUI API, and Audio Mod, these are the ones I believe that should be the core of your modding game. So what I've got a bunch of web pages up here. Uh, first one is the page to the MC Patcher. Now this has a little information. It has how to do everything and the download link which is here. So I've already downloaded it. So if you guys want to follow along I really suggest you start with a fresh copy of Minecraft. And In fact I'm going to do that as well. I have as you see stuff here. I don't have any saved games. So I'm just I'm just going to delete my entire well, actually, what I'm going to suggest to you guys, if you do have saved games, I would do a select all with Control A, and then what you want to do is hold the Control key down, uncheck saves, and uncheck texture packs. I'll also, uncheck the log or last login. That's what remembers your username and password, just for convenience' sake. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else that you need to uncheck. Um, and then just hit your delete key. Now, keep in mind, this is only if you want to start with a fresh copy. Um, and this saves your saves and your texture packs. So, what we're going to do, I've gotten Minecraft downloaded, the Minecraft EXE. You can see my link down here. I'm going to run this. And it should automatically re-download everything from scratch. And yes, as you see, it saved my username and password. However, of course the game's not there, so it's going to download that. So we'll wait for that for a moment. Actually, while that's waiting, I want to give you guys a little tip. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but I find it's very convenient to take this .minecraft folder and stick it over here in your favorites. Just by going back to roaming and click and drag, and you can actually see move to favorites. And then I'm going to delete that one. But you see then now... No matter where you are, your .minecraft folder is right here. You can go back and forth from mods download to your Minecraft, and you don't have to go searching for it anymore. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'll tell you how to find it to begin with. You just do this. Percent sign, app, data, and percent sign. And hit enter. And this brings you to your roaming folder. So here's where your .minecraft folder exists. And uh, like I said, to make that much more convenient, it's always good to put a link on the side. So let's see how Minecraft is doing. Alright. Downloaded. Good to go. We're going to quit this. And now we're going to start modding. So the way to mod is you always want to make a backup copy, but that's okay because the first thing we want to do the very first thing you want to do is use this MC patcher and that automatically makes a backup for you. So we're just going to run that. It detects where your game is and there's a bunch of options that automatically we will choose. Better grass, it, it's something I really like but for whatever reason I always have trouble with it so I leave it unchecked. The random mobs and custom colors, these are actually two cool things. Uh, the random mobs makes things different looking like your pigs, your zombies you know have different textures gives a little more variation to the game so I just leave all that on as is and patch and this should be done alright so now I know this is a little overkill but I just want to make sure that worked so I'm going to open this up and log in real quick And let's see. Actually, just give me one moment here. Okay, so at this point, all I've done is I've used that uh, PC, um, that's right, the MC Patcher program to create um, 
the ability to use high definition texture packs which you have seen and did here I went into texture packs I downloaded the Mesa texture pack which is a 64 by 64 and I said done now let's just log into the game real quick and we're gonna make sure that uh, this works cool thing about this pack is, and in the uh, patcher is that it gives multiple textures to the same animal like there might be three or four different variations of a pig or a cow or things like that so let's just go make sure that works real quick and then we'll get back to Maudie in the game we still got still got a few things to do okay so we're by some water let's see if we can find an animal or two so let's exit out here and we will go and actually start the modding of this game okay guys so here we are we got our, our minecraft file it's been patched and the patcher itself made a backup called 1.0.0 so what we want to do also is make our own copy of this and we're going to paste it here and then we're going to do all our work with this file here so what we need to do is install the mod loader the GUI API and the audio mod these are the three things that go directly into this file so what I'm going to do is open it up I'm going to open it with WinRAR Archiver, Archiver and put that over here we're going to open up our mod loader select all and drag it over here and then we're going to do the GUI API select all and just drag that over as well and last but not least we're going to do the same with the audio mod all of the, this code here has to go into this file as well so once that's done then we can load up our game and check it all out alright guys so now that we know that the patcher worked and we got our core files into the game like the mod loader the audio one and the GUI API now it's just a matter of making sure our mods are going to work so we'll start off with Mo Creatures. So we're going to just open that one up. And now this has two files that we put in here. One's in the mods folder, which is Mo Creatures.zip. We drag this up to our mods folder directly. And the other file in here is resources. What we're going to do is copy this into the base of our .minecraft directory. And it's just going to put in all the sound effect files, the textures for horses and bears and things like that. That should be it. That's done. If you have any issues, there is a readme file right here as well. The next one we're going to put in is the minimap, the Ray minimap. Um, this one just goes straight in the mods folder. Wait. Let me go in here. Straight in the mods folder for the minimap, as well as the recipe book and Tale of Kingdoms. They go straight in there. Now, Millionaire is a little bit different. We have to go in here. And there's two things we gotta do. We gotta put one thing in the mods folder, which is the millionaire.zip file. And then we're gonna go back to our directory here, our main directory. And we wanna go and stick these two folders into our main directory. These are the files that have all the settings, the dialogue, the text, the quest lists, all that stuff is in these folders. So we'll give that a close. Um, Mo Creatures, I believe we got in here already. So that should be everything. So we got our mini map, millionaire, mo creatures, recipe book, and tale of kingdoms. And what we're going to do next is pop open the game, just verify that every one of these works, and that's it. That would be the basics on how to install mods. All right, guys. There was actually one thing I forgot to do. It's a custom mob spawner. It's part of the mo creatures package. That has to as well go into the mods folder right here. Um, I was having some issues with mo creatures, and that's the reason. So. Custom mob spawner got to go in the mods folder as well. So we'll get our game loaded up and we'll, we'll make sure all of this works. And then if you guys have any questions, you just let me know in the comment section. So I'm going to get into the world started here. I've loaded in, everything's working this time. So we want to verify that Mo Creatures works, the mini map, Tale of Kingdoms, and the Millionaire plugin. And of course, if all those work, that verify that the basic mods we put on do work as well. So the creation quest, that's part of the millionaire plugin. So that is loaded. We got our mini map, Tail Kingdoms popped up here. Um, I'm not going to get too much into this because I am going to start doing a little mini series on Minecraft using Tail Kingdoms as part of that. 
But as you can see, what this does, I'm not sure you can see. Oh, it's way up over this. Okay. Oh, here we go. Look at our chickens. This is what I was trying to say earlier. Um, that MC Patcher gives different textures to each different animal. And we got some gazelles over here, which proves that no creatures is working. And up over this is where our, um, what's called a guild is at. This is part of the Tail Kingdom's mod. Let's see if I can get up here. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. So this is part of the Kingdom's mod, which is really cool. And you're going to see more of that from me in the near future. But um, anyway, so everything seems to be working. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, or if something's just not working for you, please let me know. Uh, if I don't get back to you, I'm sure somebody in the community here will have an answer and be able to help you out. So I really appreciate you guys watching this, taking the time. If you guys want to show some support, it really helps out if you click on those ads. Um, this show up at the beginning of the video. Like the video, favorite the videos, all that stuff. It's all it's all good. It helps me out a lot. And uh, so thanks for watching and hope you guys all had a happy new year.